Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're playing Wonder Boy 3, which is arguably the best game ever produced for the Sega Master System. I thought we would get uh, year five here started off right with uh, a true retro gaming classic that, uh, you know, interestingly, I think uh, a lot of people might not have played back in the day. At least I didn't. I, I guess I should say a lot of North Americans didn't play because the Sega Master System was just never as popular as the NES uh, back back in the day, back in, you know, Canada and the U.S. Uh, I knew only one person who had a Sega Master System. It's very exciting to go over to their house and actually play it. Uh, but, uh, this game, as you can see, is basically a game of, uh, adventure. It's an action-adventure RPG-ish platformer for the Sega Master System. It also came out on the Game Gear a few years later. Um, oddly enough, this also came out on the PC Engine in TurboGrafx-16. It was ported by Hudson Soft. Um, I will talk about that later, but, uh, it is kind of interesting that Hudson Soft also, uh, back in the day, ported some Nintendo games onto, uh, MSX, uh, computers, like the Super Mario Brothers Special and stuff. So, Hudson Soft were kind of playing both sides, Sega and Nintendo, but it worked out well for them. Um, anyway, uh, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started here. The computer's kind of giving us a, a preview of things to come, and I'm excited to give this one a shot. Um, as I say, I knew very few people who actually had a Sega Master System, let alone this game. So I've never played this before. Uh, I'm excited to check it out for the first time. So off we go. Before you is the Monster World. Overcoming various hardships, you have at last entered into the Monster's Castle. Your target is the dreaded... Okay, missed that. But unbeknownst to you is the fact that Dragon has the power to evoke curses on his enemies. This sounds bad. Oh, and then we're just, you know, dot, dot, dot. What's gonna happen? So I have read about how this game sort of starts off here. Um, this this castle, by the way. So we're invading this castle to defeat this evil, evil dragon boss. We're all pimped out with our upgrades and stuff. So you can see we have like a billion hearts up there. This game is kind of like Legend of Zelda where like you earn hearts as you go through it and stuff. We're just killing snakes here. So you start off the game at max power and you may be wondering like, how come? And the interesting thing is because this is actually pretty much the last level of Wonder Boy 2. So Wonder Boy 3 here is the third game in the Wonder Boy series. And they start you off pretty much at the, the last level of Wonder Boy 2. You play it, you play through here. We're going to beat the final boss. And when we do, then Wonder Boy 3 really starts. And this is one of those games where you get depowered uh, after the first stage. So the first stage sort of like shows you like what could be if, you know, you're like a, a high-powered badass. And so it gives you something to aspire back to. Look, these snakes don't even do any damage. Look, I can just get hit repeatedly by these things. I haven't even lost a single heart. That is crazy. Hey, wait. Haven't we been here before? Totally have. Maybe I should try going down this time. Is this like a maze? I don't know. This game is pretty much like an open world adventure game. So it's not linear like Mario Brothers. It's more along the lines of like Zelda and stuff. Um, but it is a platformer. And the idea is that, you know, you kind of go around, you discover secrets, and you can turn into like lizard men and eagles. And there's all these different like magical abilities and things that you can do in this game. Um, you can also duck and jab them right in the knees. A knee attack! Whoa. It doesn't. It, I mean, when, when your base attack just kills them no matter what. It doesn't really matter what you choose to attack them with. Oh god. Okay. The jump mechanics are kind of weird. When you jump, you can't control yourself in the air. So it's like once you jump, you're committed to that direction. Um, one thing I always really enjoyed about Mario is he did not... He, he allowed you to break the laws of physics and control yourself in the air, which, you know, it doesn't make a lot of sense, but it makes the game way more enjoyable. So uh, I am a big fan of... Um, I, know, I know, like, successful... Oh, look, a skeleton without a head. I know successful game companies like Blizzard and Bungie have this motto that basically if something is fun, it doesn't matter if it makes sense. Worry about it making sense later, just make a fun game. And I think that's the motto that I agree with uh, when it comes to gaming. Um, anyway, yeah, so this game, um, when it came out back in the day, was praised for its... Oh, what the heck? We're in like a computer land now. We were in like a medieval castle, now we've like zonked our way into the year 3000 and like some kind of starship world. It's crazy. Um, but this game was praised for its colorful graphics and addictive gameplay. I'm looking forward to experiencing... I mean, we're experiencing the gameplay now, but... Uh, okay, how do I go into a door? Okay, there we go. Pretty self explanatory Oh, we're fighting a mecha, mecha dragon. All right, dragon. Eat it. I'm near invincible. I'm just going to tank all your damage. 
You don't have to be good at fighting the boss when you have literally almost infinite health. I like this. I like first levels that start you off overpowered. Some people don't like the games that start you off with like uh, max upgrades and then take them away. They feel like it's a tease. But I'll tell you, I don't mind it. Um, oh, what the hell happened? We just turned into a dragon. Uh, we didn't even get the coins. Um, okay, now now we're a dragon, I guess. I guess we've been cursed, but you know what? This is one curse that I will accept gladly. You can even duck and, and shoot a fireball, uh, you know, at knee level. So do you want to attack him in the eyes or the knees? You decide. Oh, you even got a heart, too. I feel like this starship is going to explode. Let's go back into the medieval ages. Um, okay, even the, even the castle has a self-destruct that's been activated. But, uh, yeah. Oh, and there's a key. So, yeah, I don't, I don't mind this, this sort of, you know, you start... Okay, how do we do this? Hold on, let's see. Uh, use our key. Use it. Activate. Go. Oh, there we go. All right. So there's an inventory and stuff. I'm going to have to kind of figure this out as we go. I, it seems pretty simple. Like, I, I have looked up uh, just sort of a few basics on how to play this game, but uh, there's still a lot that I did not look up, so we're going to be figuring a lot out as we go. Um, but anyway, this game was praised for its addictive gameplay, its colorful graphics. One thing it was criticized for back in the day, I thought this was funny when I read it, is that the graphics flicker when there's too much on the screen, you know? Um, I, <laughs> I'm shocked that any old gaming, uh, you know, uh, magazine or whatever would, would, uh, would, would dock a game for that. Cause wasn't that just how old games played? Like I, I played a lot of Nintendo games back in the day and, oh shoot. Okay. Oh God. Can we, oh God. Get up there. Get up there. Go, go, go. This is, seems like a bad strategy. Okay. I took a few, few hit. Oh. Now, now what happens? Can I get out of here? <laughs> That's funny. Um, I played a lot of Nintendo games back in the day, and they just flickered, man. Like, the Nintendo was not a powerful system, so I imagine the Sega Master System was the same way. You put too much on the screen, it flickered. I've never heard of anyone pick on a specific game for the flickering, you know? Like, Nintendo games flickered sometimes. You could complain about that in the sense that you could complain about the whole Nintendo doing it, Oh, is that it? Is that the first level? We just blew it up? There was like a locked door that we never like dealt with. Um, and now, proceed with your adventurous undertaking, Wonder Boy 3, The Dragon's Trap. Alright, so, haha, -ha, he punked us, he turned us into a dragon. Feels like an upgrade, to be totally honest, because now we have projectiles, so like, I don't know. This is like in uh, the Brendan Fraser movie, The Mummy when they wanted to curse Emotep, so they basically performed a, a ritual on him that would make him come back as an immortal, uh, undefeatable, super-powered being, and it's like, that's how you punish someone? Like, you turn you turn me into a, a, a dragon, that's how you want to punish me? Doesn't make any sense, but whatever. Um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, like, you can fault the NES itself for flickering, but an individual game, uh, that doesn't make a lot of sense. So it's weird to me that, like, Back in the day, anyone would uh, would pick on a particular game like this for flickering. So I don't consider that a negative. In fact, flickering sprites gives uh, games some old school charm. Okay, I, I, don't, I can't go in any of these doors. I'm trying. Um, I think... Uh-oh. Can, can we go in these doors? Like, I'm pressing up, down... Oh, yeah, you can. Okay, I don't know what we're supposed to press there. Um, there is uh, a cute nurse who wants to cure me. Unfortunately, I have no gold, and I'm not injured. So there's zero for two there. Let's try going in here. Okay, up, up and jump is how we go in here. Uh, so this pig look like looks like he's seen some shit. <laughs> he's got like an eye patch on. He's like grizzled. He's smoking a cigarette. He's like, what do you want? Buy a mythical shield or get the hell out. Um, this question mark item, by the way, uh, you have to get a charm later in the game, and that will unlock the item, so you can't buy mystery items. You can see it's only 15 gold, but you can't buy it. Um, anyway, we can't afford anything, so let's see what else we got going on here. Um, wait, how, how did I go in a door? Now I'm confused. Uh, okay, maybe we can't go in that one. Can we go in this one? I'm just pressing all the buttons. There we go, that worked. <laughs> 
All right, I, I'm not sure what button allows me to go in a door. Honestly, oh, there we go. We just got a heart. Two hearts. All right, well, that works. Uh, let's get out of here. There we go. It is up. I'm so confused. Okay, and then you go up. Okay. Uh, well, there's only a few doors left. Yeah, let's try this one here. And we'll jump into this. It's sort of like a Mario Brothers warp tube, but it's really just like a collection of bricks. It's like some kind of brick pipe or something. Can we swim? No, we cannot. We can only casually jump. All right, there we go. We're out. And where the hell are we? Should I go through this door? Okay, let's do it. Go. There we go. Oh, that just takes me back to town. Okay, so that door exits to adventure. All right, so there's one more door here. See, this is the door. It won't, like, let me go in. Oh, there we go. It worked. Now, right, here's our password, the smoking pig. Uh, we'll call him Razor. I feel like that that's like a pig. He's probably got, like, tattoos and stuff. You can just tell by looking at him. So here's our password, guys, if you want to... Uh, if you want to carry on my game here, my, you know, two hearts just just past the first level. Get in the door. There we go. All right. Interesting how you have to sort of, like, escape through the sewer system of town off to adventure. But we're not going to ask too many questions in this game. I don't want to analyze this game too closely. Um, I said when I started playing this that this game was considered uh, one of the best... Uh, if not the best Sega Master System game out there. Um, the only real criticism that I read for it was that it kind of has slippery controls. And I kind of feel that, but I, it's like not really that noticeable, to be honest. Like, it's not it's not so slippery that it's like unplayable or anything like that. It's a little slippery, but... Um, now, when this game came out, the idea of like roaming a, a world and just exploring and discovering what you could discover. I mean, that was kind of like a game changer. Um, I'm trying to think if Legend of Zelda was out in 1989 when this game came out. It might have been. So it might not have been a completely original idea. But still, nonetheless, you know, like a big open world game. Like, those games were not super common back in the, the late 80s, early 90s. So this was definitely sort of uh, groundbreaking at the time. Um, and uh, I think it was... Electronics Gaming Monthly rated this as, like, the best game uh, of the year, 1989, if I have that right. Hold on, I wrote this down. Yeah, Electronics Gaming Monthly. I don't know if you guys remember Electronics Gaming Monthly. It was uh, a magazine. Oh, I can't even go there. See, so you discover areas that you have to come back to later on when you get different abilities. Um, Electronics Gaming Monthly was, like, a gaming magazine. Oh, God, this guy... Die, die. Jeez. Um, and I remember Electronics Gaming Monthly because I would get it back in the era of, like, PCs, and I would, uh, I would basically, they had, like, a demo disc of, like, demo games that, uh, would come with the magazine. I, I would usually buy the magazine solely for the demos. Like, I, I'm pretty sure the first time I ever played Duke Nukem 3D was, like, a demo disc. Um, and I have absolutely no regrets about, about that. Boom, boom, die, you things. Ooh, you even get arrows and stuff. Okay, let's kill this guy, too. So some characters cannot shoot down. That seems like a... Oh, God. This guy's raining fire on me. Go away. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, we're dead. Oh, we just came back to life somehow. Okay, I don't know what that was all about. I'm not going to ask questions. Oh, God. We're so close to dying. Ah, go. Okay, we have to get in this door. My nemesis. Go get in the door. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, uh, now we got two doors to pick from. Uh, I guess we'll go on door number one. Uh, this is a pig who wants to sell me mysterious items. I don't think so, buddy. I don't buy an item unless I know what it is. Ooh, we got a key. I wonder if that key will open the door in town. Because that's the only locked door I can kind of remember seeing. Oh, God. We're totally screwed here, aren't we? Ah! <laughs> that did not work. Oh, we turned into a ghost... And we fly off to the afterlife to continue. Press start. Okay, now what? Oh, I think this is like a slot machine. It gives you a chance of like getting an extra life or something. Okay. We still got our key though, and that's all that I care about. So I think we can go ahead and open this door now. 
if I am correct here. Boom. Yes! Alright, we're making progress! Um, it's nice when there's only like a single locked door, so it's very obvious where to go. I wish I could turn back into a man. But I guess we're gonna live our life as some kind of weird dragon monster. Rah. Oh, now we're in the desert. Alright, more adventure! Wait, can we just... Are these background things? Yeah, they are. I thought we had to jump over the cactuses, and I was like, there's no way I could make that. Even if I got over it. Oh, God. Uh, oh, God. Okay, so this angry cloud thing is actually, like, the most deadly thing ever. It's like I have to really concentrate to avoid just dying to it. <laughs> it's, like, so aggressive. Get away, man. Is there any way to kill it? It's like... It's like a Lakitu that, like, like really wants you dead. Like, he's not playing. He's not messing around. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Die. 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 Man. Look at this thing. It's, like, taking fireballs from the face. Oh, and I died again. Okay. This is going to take some doing. Press start. So, um... Yeah, so this game was rated, like, the best game, basically, the second Master System, best game of the year, 1989. The book, the Thousand One Games You Must Play Before You Die book that we are actually working through, interestingly, um, it, it talks this game up and down at the same time. It's really weird. So the book says that this game, you know, it was like this open world adventure that was like novel for the time. And like it was interesting that you, like you could fly up into the clouds and like find a secret door or like explore the bottom of an ocean and like find an area that you've never been to before. And, like, it, it's basically, like, yeah, like, this game has, like, a lot going for it. And then they basically say, but, you know, playing it today is pretty much a slog and, like, it's really not worth it. Like, they literally say in the book that the game is a slog and that most people probably wouldn't enjoy it these days. And it kind of makes me think, like, the book is a thousand one games just play before you die. You just included an entry of a game that you literally said people are not going to enjoy. What? What's? Oh, that was lucky. What is happening? Like, why Why is this game in the book then? Like, I, like, I think this game should be in the book given, um, you know, like, uh, how much of a cherished retro game it is. But, like, why is the book, like, talking it down? I, d I don't understand. So, I'm, I'm, here's my question. Like, the Thousand and One Games you just play before you die. Are we taking that title too literally? Like, is, is it just supposed to be like, hey, here's a Thousand and One Games that, like, you should play in air quotes, but it's like, but, you know, like, nobody's gonna play these games. Um, like, is, is that, is, is that the sort of thinking for this game? I mean, I guess obviously we're probably taking it way too literally. Um, I, I guess when they wrote the book, they probably thought, like, nobody's actually gonna play all these games. We're just gonna list a bunch of, like, interesting old games and that'll be that. Little did they know how literal of a person I am. Oh, nice try, Sunflower. Um, so anyway, I I just thought that was bizarre. I was like, huh? So you're recommending a game that you think is a slog? What 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 is someone supposed to make of that? I wonder. What what would you guys make of that? I, I'm curious. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, we gotta kill this this and this. There we go. Jeez. Oh, we got full health out of that though. Okay, I've got 161 gold by the way. I need to start spending this gold. Hey, we made it to pyramids. Oh god. Damn the stupid. Thing. Oh, we can kill it! We can kill it! Okay, good to know. You can kill the evil clouds. Oh, God. So we, we've got, like, a bunch of gold. We definitely, the next time we die, we're totally spending our gold. This is sweet. We have so much freaking gold. We're rich. Oh, man, do we want to go in those pipes, or do we want to go up? I don't even know. I don't even know. Okay, let's just start going down here, and let's see what we got. Okay, we got a door, I guess. Go in the door. The door jumps us out. Okay, so there's the exit. Easy. So let's now figure out what we got in here. I feel like we're raiding a tomb, like we're Indiana Jones or something. And... Oh, God, there's a pumpkin guy. I think we killed him. Oh, he's back. Let's kill him again. Okay. Now, notice that there are uh, checkerboard blocks everywhere. Um, if you get a power up to turn into a mouse man you can actually walk on the walls and you can only walk on checkerboard walls so if we had the mouse man power up we could be like walking on the walls and ceiling at this point oh god that guy almost killed me okay we got 200 gold so we're definitely gonna die here but when we die guess what we're getting some sweet power-ups 
Oh god, and we're dead. <laughs> no, there's a chest right there. There's probably something awesome in the chest. All right. Now, this is how this game went, guys. Uh, or at least that's my claim, is you would die repeatedly. So if you think I'm bad at this game, what you need to recognize is that this is how everyone played the game. There was nobody out there who was really uh, any better at this game. And so when you would watch people play, this is, you know, what you see is what you get is basically what I'm saying. Um, now, where, where were the pigs who were selling stuff? Where are these pigs? Sell me your gear, pigs. Not there. I, I can't find the store here. Was it over here? I don't even fully remember. Maybe the stores always have the, uh, like, blue kind of glass looking into them. Anyway, let's buy a mithril shield and mithril armor. Let's go ahead and equip that. Shield... Mithril shield. Oh, wait. Can I even equip it? I think the dragons can't equip stuff. Not 100% sure, but... So, look, there's our stats. CP is 3, and it goes up to 12. I don't know what that means. My DP also went up. Um, oh, these are abilities that I've been collecting. But I guess I lose them when I die or something. Okay. So, I don't know if that's, that's going to make a lick of difference. But what was over here, by the way? I, for, I totally forget. Um, how about, you know what? Cure me. Boom. We just got an extra life point. Oh, yeah, there's a dead end over there. Okay, we need the mouse suit. All right, well, we were get, we're working our way into that pyramid. I think we can totally get get, get in there if we, uh, if we give another shot here. So that's my goal. My goal is to get in the pyramid, see what treasures are in there, raid the treasures, Indiana Jones style. You know, this belongs in a museum, a.k.a. my pocket, and then take it and run away. If there's Nazis, I'll kill them. Um, and then... I guess we'll see what's on the other side of the desert. So that this way is actually pretty dangerous. This way seems far more doable. So I'm just going to stick to the direction that we can do. And hopefully with my newly upgraded armor, my guy is going to be far more tough. That's my, my hope. Get out of here. So we're not getting... You know what? We're getting a lot less gold out of these guys the second time around. I wonder if it's because, A, we've got armor... Or if it's B, we've killed them already. And, like, after you kill an enemy once, you only get, like, a fraction of the gold the second time around or something. Oh, God! <laughs> All right. That worked. So my fire can actually stop these, uh, these fire flowers. It's pretty handy. Again, I think, you know, I know Wonder Boy wants to turn back into a boy. But, like, honestly, he's got to look on the bright side. Like, being a dragon has advantages, man. Like, I'm just saying, like, don't be so quick to turn back into human form. When God turns you into a dragon, maybe it's for the best. Maybe it's for the best. Oh, God. Oh, God. Two hits. Go. Go, go, go. Now, this is the third Wonder Boy in the series. So there were two Wonder Boys before this. Um, the Wonder Boy 1 game, I think, started as an arcade game. I think it was on a bunch of systems, though, like Sega Master System and stuff. Um... And I guess the plot of Wonder Boy 1 was, like, your girlfriend was captured, and so you... Your guy's name is Tom Tom, by the way. Uh, Tom Tom, the Wonder Boy, he's got to go save his girlfriend Tina from the Dark Lord or something. And he does it. And then, basically, in, in game canon, it's like, that's it for 11 years. Wonder Boy 2 takes place, like, 11 years after Wonder Boy 1. And Wonder Boy's now, like, a teenager. Um, I guess Wonder Teen didn't sound as good or something, but yeah, so he's he's literally, you know, like a grown adult in Wonder Boy 2. Um, and as, as, of course, as I said at the beginning of this video, Wonder Boy 3 takes place immediately at the end of Wonder Boy 2. You even replay the last level. I'm just kind of curious what would happen if we went up here. Can we manually... Oh yeah, we can. So there's, there's a chest that we're going to fight our way to. So I want to see, like, what is all the way up here. Oh, and there's a locked door, eh? Should we... Okay, you know what? We're doing this. We're already on this side. There's, you know, maybe we can, like, get a key or something over here. Are you kidding me? A guy freaking... A pig man shoots me with an arrow. Okay. Uh... The stupid potion has never landed on a heart. So this blue potion, when you lose all your life... It will basically grant you, um, it will sort of replenish one heart rather than killing you. So the blue potion is something you want to get, but it's sort of like, 
You know, we're limited. We have limited purchasing capacity here. Uh, like, there's nothing else to buy, right? Like, unless I'm unless I'm dense. Ooh, a mithril sword. I'll take it. I don't know why that was suddenly active. Go ahead and equip it. Action APs go from three to twelve. Done deal. I don't know what any of these things are, but the higher the I know from my gameplay of uh, RPGs, the higher the numbers, the better. So we want to have as high numbers as we can do the most damage. Again, I don't know what having a sword will do for a dragon, but whatever. Um, oh, God, I just... That was stupid. <laughs> well, you know what? There's no fall damage in this game. So, you know, it's all in the interest of exploring. We're just exploring, guys. We're figuring things out. Okay, well, you know what? We, we've learned a lot about the desert. So here's, here's my plan. We're going to go into the pyramid this time around. Um, and when we go, we will go over the pyramid too, because it looked like there was a doorway into the Sphinx. We'll totally do that, but we just have to like take our time with those arrow dudes. Because they are actually like far more of a problem than it seems. And we don't want to, we don't want to be dying needlessly. I wish there were like more stores that we knew about. I guess so in these early levels, like you really haven't unlocked very much. So it's like, you pretty much just have to, you know, y you have to have skill. You have to show some level of skill before they unlock the later, later levels and stuff. What later in the game, once we have like more stores and stuff, I I'm sure we'll have like way more options. It'll be easier to like survive because we can just spend our money on potions and stuff. In the meantime, we can just sort of, oh God, Got hit in the butt with fireball. We can take solace in the fact that uh, we are slowly building up gold reserves by fighting these dudes. Oh, God. Although, I would prefer to build up heart reserves. Oh, thank you. Speak of the devil. Ow, ow. Okay, we're taking a lot of hits there. Can I use these tornadoes or anything? Okay, look. Let's use this. We've just equipped the fireball. Now what? Boom. Anything? Nothing. Okay, I, I don't know. We have a fireball equipped. So, b fear us, I suppose. Oh, you jerk. My mithril shield did not... Oh, God. Take care of that one. Right. So here's where it all starts to fall apart, where these things are, like, shooting us above and below. Just gotta, like, take my time and not... <sighs> rush through it oh a blue potion that is oh and a heart okay we are in a good position here oh and we'll skip getting hit there all right we're doing good oh and kill this thing all right as long as as long as that stupid cloud isn't there i think we got this die sunflowers oh god are sunflowers even a thing in the desert i'm pretty sure that's not a thing Oh, that almost hit us right in the face. Okay, uh, we are going into the pyramid this time. That's what I said we would do. And I'm a man of my word. All right. Off to raid a tomb. Indiana Jones style. Also, Laura Croft style. Also, Nathan Drake style. Pretty much anyone who discovers a tomb seems to raid it. Nobody seems to respect the tombs. So why should we? Yeah, we're taking hits stupidly on these. Like, uh, these are, like, evil smiley faces or something. Wearing, like, uh, witch hats. Oh, damn it! I was even going slow to try and avoid that. Oh, my God. We... <laughs> one more hit and we're done. Okay. What killed us last time in the pyramid? I don't even remember. Was it this guy? I think that guy killed us. You jerk. Okay. Right, there's a door here. Oh, God. Where did that guy come from? Oh god, oh god, they just spawned like crazy. Yeah, I just wanna see what's in the door here. Oh, cure me! Yes! Okay, hold on, that means that last time in here we died right next to a curing station. Are you kidding me? That sucks. Hold on, there was something over here. A chest. Ooh, a key! Oh, we're making progress, guys! I, I feel so smart, like, getting this stuff. I'm like, yes, a key, it probably unlocks this nearby door. Meanwhile, it's like, of course it does, but still. Okay. Yes! Boss? Boss battle? Oh, it's a weird frog. 
All right, we just killed him. I don't know what his deal was. There's a bunch of them. There's a bunch of weird frogs in here. We'll just kill them all. <laughs> So, uh, when I started this video, I said how Wonder Boy here, Wonder Boy 3, um, not only is it the third game in the series, oh god, that guy does jump. If you get too close, I guess they jump at you. I want to get all this gold, because it turns out it's, turns out having money is useful in the world. That's what Wonder Boy 3 has taught me. Being wealthy is an advantage in life. Who knew? Thank you, Wonder Boy, for showing me the way. Anyway, Wonder Boy 3 here came out not just on the Sega Master System, Later came out on the Game Gear, and when it re was released on the Game Gear, it was called Monster World 2 Dragon Noana. Uh, so, Wonder Boy 1 was, I think it was just called Wonder Boy, and then Wonder Boy 2, I think, was called Monster World or something like that. So, for Game Gear, I guess they didn't want to call it Wonder Boy 3, so they called it Monster World 2, which is kind of weird, but it gets weirder, guys. So, as I say, this game also came out. Um, on the PC Engine, which is the Japanese version of the TurboGrafx-16. There it was called Adventure Island, not to be confused with Hudson Soft's Adventure Island. Um, Hudson Soft did the port, uh, so I don't understand why they called it Adventure Island. Then for the TurboGrafx-16, the game was just called Dragon's Curse. So this game existed... Oh, God. Oh, that worked. This game existed on TurboGrafx-16 and the PC Engine, and it had different names on both. A different name on the, the Sega Genesis. Or, sorry, uh, Sega Game Gear. Oh, God, there we go. This is actually a tricky part. And this game was also released out in Brazil um, on the, I believe, the Sega Master System. And uh, there, the game wasn't even called Wonder Boy or Monster Land. It was, it was basically uh, licensed by a toy company, and they swapped out all the Wonder Boy characters with characters from a uh, from a cartoon show, a uh, oh god, oh god, uh, characters from uh, do I have it listed here? I'm like trying to read as I play this level. It's like really hard. No, I just have comic characters from Brazil. Basically, if you know anything about Super Mario Brothers 2, mo like 90% of the world knows this, but Super Mario Brothers 2 was not actually the real Mario Brothers 2. The one we got in North America was a game called Doki Doki Panic from Japan that was reskinned into a Mario game. And, oh god. Um, oh god. Just taking hits. There we go. Oh, secrets! That's awesome. Um, oh, there's a boss! Oh god. Okay, we have to hit him in the in the face, it looks like. Okay, we just keep, keep hitting him in the face, and then we just duck under that junk. He barfs on us after we hit him in the face. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I'm just like... <laughs> I'm like stun locked. Okay, here we go. Come on. Boom. Boom. And duck. He can't hit us. Alright, we have figured out this boss pattern. Um, anyway, so, so Mario 2 is like a reskin of Doki Doki Panic. And Doki Doki Panic, you know, you might you might know that trivia point, but do you know what Doki Doki Panic is? It was a game that Nintendo made for a uh, Japanese TV company to, uh, what was it? It was like promote their like big anniversary. So the characters in Doki Doki Panic are actually like uh, characters from this like Japanese uh, network. Um, and that's basically what happened to this game. When it went to Brazil, they, like, swapped out all the Wonder Boy characters, and they threw in a bunch of characters from a Brazilian, uh, comic. Boom! Oh, we actually beat a boss! Sweet. Okay, I want to get all the gold this time before this curse touches me. God damn it. <laughs> hey, we turned into Mouse Boy! This is the guy I was telling you about. He can walk on the walls. Oh, I'm so excited to do this. Um, hold on. How do we do this? Look at this! He's on the walls! Okay, hold on. Hold on, let's do this. Ugh. Oh god. I'm trying to get on this, like, platform here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at this! We can just avoid the whole fight! This is how games were meant to be played. Cheap and elusive. Oh god, I don't want to, like... There's, like, a guy here who's probably gonna kill us. Wait, can I swap into the dragon? Can I can I turn back into the dragon? Is that a thing? Am I allowed? <laughs> or am I stuck as this little pipsqueak? Oh god! Oh god, he's gonna kill us! He's gonna kill us! Die! Okay, we got 25 gold out of him. 
I guess that's something. To start, it's reparations for what he tried to do to us. AKA kill us. All right, this is, this is sweet. Just like walking out of here. So I have no idea, by the way, how to turn back into the dragon. We might just be done with the dragon. I'm not entirely sure. Um, oh, money, 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 money. Oh, keep giving it to me. Oh my God, 86, 860 gold, full life. I have more gold now than I have had in my, my entire life of this game. In fact, my entire real life. The dancing shield, 430 gold. You know what? I'm feeling saucy, bag it. I just bought it. Let's go ahead and equip the dancing shield. Seems to be better than anything I own, so done. And we have four stones, sweet. And we go through this door and what do we got? Return. Wait, I kind of wanted to go into that Sphinx, but you know what, whatever. We're gonna keep exploring this world. This warps us back to where we came from, interesting. All right, well. Let's, uh, let's see what was over here. So this part of the map was like locked off to us before, but now we can just sort of like walk over easily. Let's see what's going on in here. Hello, sell me stuff. Oh, 1600, 1140, that's a lot of gold. We don't have that kind of money. We're just a little kid for, for God's sakes. We're a little tiny baby boy. God, okay, so I think we can now, nope. I was gonna say, I, th I think we can block stuff with our shields now that we're like sort of a human. So we've gone from being a dragon to being a small mutated... Oh yeah, there you go, you can block those with your shield. So you can actually block stuff. Oh God, out. But if you miscalculate jumps, you're kind of screwed. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh, we're taking damage. We are taking damage. Just keep going. What are those blue glowing balls anyway? Oh my god, look at this. Sophisticated series of, of tunnels. Okay, hold on. Can we... Oh god. This is actually like harder than it looks. The, the mechanics of this little uh, wall running dude. Go, 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 go. Let's go to the left. Oh, we can't. Okay, so we have to like go up. Ah, oh, get out of my way. Oh, he dropped a, an awesome stone. We'll take it. Oh, look at this. Oh, God, frogs. Get in, get in the store. Get in the store. Okay, kill the frog. Oh, God, it's still coming for us. Stab him in the butt. I miss having a projectile weapon. I legit want to know. Uh, oh, we don't have enough for that. I legit want to know how we turn into the dragon. Maybe we use a fireball? Let's try it. And it does not seem to do anything. Tornadoes, arrows. Hmm. How about that? Anything? Nothing? Oh! What was that? I, I did I did shoot it. Okay, so pressing down and jump does it. Hold on. Oh my god, you can shoot fireballs! Okay, this this is an important discovery for us. Um Let's save it. Oh god, oh god. When we need it. AKA when we're fighting a common frog. Turns out we actually need high powered weapons for that because our guy is not very good. Oh god, just forget about the frogs. They're not worth it, man. So let's use our newfound ability on this skeleton. Oh, it did nothing. It angered him. It pissed him off. That's what it did. Get out of here. Leave me alone, frogs. Okay, so I think we used up our fireball for like no purpose. It achieved nothing. Oh god, oh he's so angry. Die. I think we have enough gold for that like crazy armor the guy wanted to sell us. Kill these bats. So the interesting thing about this game is like, like the melee weapon obviously sucks compared to the projectile weapon, but I have no idea how you turn back into a dragon, if you can at all. I, I maybe what is happening in this game is like as you beat boss after boss you're unlocking these like different forms and like later you'll get the ability to choose what form you want but for right now it's sort of like after level one you become the little guy then level three you become the hawk and you kind of like learn uh the abilities for each of these forms as you go and then eventually you can get kind of like choose your form that would be kind of cool i'd be okay with that all right we have like 700 bucks i kind of want to like Go back to that store so we can spend it, but... Alright. 
Die! Stab him, the old fork in the eye. It's my tactic, just wait up here. When they get up here, give them a, like a dinner fork right in the eye. Come on, if you get stabbed, it's your own fault. Boom! Right in the face. All right, I don't know what those things are, but we're gonna like leave in peace now. Okay. That skeleton's tactic of jumping over me, turns out, is not super effective. When you're fighting a tiny little man boy, don't jump over him. It's exactly what he wants. You're playing right in, you're playing his game when you do that. Oh God. Okay, maybe it's semi-effective. You know what, let's use a boomerang on this guy. We're gonna die anyway. Uh, oh yeah, boomerang. Oh, oh my God, he almost killed us. Oh, but he dropped a heart. So he, that's his way of apologizing. He didn't want to kill us. Oh God. Oh God, oh God, that was total luck. Let's just skip over these things. We're just gonna, they're just slowing us down. Oh God, oh my God, ow, ow, ow. Oh God, okay. Sometimes it's like you hit a bad guy and you take like a lot of damage and sometimes it's like, just like a tiny bit. There you gotta stab that guy. Okay, let's do this. The wall, the wall walking mechanic is actually kind of cool. I don't, I don't know of another game that I've necessarily seen this in. Um. All right. Like, I can think of games where you walk on walls, but not like really old retro games. Like, in fact, actually, the only like modern one I can think of is, uh, oh God, his, his skull came off. Is that supposed to happen? His uh, Portal 2, they, there was that certain gel that like let your uh, character walk on walls. I die. Oh, and a, a key. Means there's a key door somewhere around here. Uh, can we go up? Ooh. Look what we found. Okay, we're going to go. Oh God, and he knocked us down. You jerk. Yeah, run. Oh, we need to equip the key. Hold on, I didn't have that equipped. Okay, hold on, equip the key. Good, jump and get in there. Oh, come on, damn it. I'm pressing up. The, the doors in this game are like oddly finicky. Maybe I should focus on trying to like kill that uh, weird squid or whatever it is. Let's use, let's equip a tornado. So what was it, down and jump, I think? Oh God, I'm not even gonna press the right button. Oh, come on, I missed him, are you, are you kidding me? Well, at least he's doing like very little damage. All right, here we go. Once more, uh, maybe this time, I don't know, an arrow. Love that. Oh, come on, he knocked me down the, the other way this time. Oh, we actually killed, we killed his compadre. Oh, and he dropped another key. So you could just literally like farm keys here, eh? Okay. Uh, I don't even know. We'll just fight him the old-fashioned way. In fact, we'll equip the key, just in case. I wish that dancing shield would do something, by the way. The shield seems pretty static to me. Son of a bitch, every time. Like, how do we kill this guy? We just stab him once. Oh, there's another key. We have three keys. All right, what is this, like our fifth attempt? The thing is, it like homes in on you. Oh, God, and when you jump in the air, it's so frustrating. You can't control yourself, so it's like... So I have to, like, jump forward over him, but then he's gonna, like, home in on top of me. I don't understand how you're supposed to fight that guy. Okay, forget it. That That's that's actually, like, super frustrating. So the controls, yes. Oh, God. Can we even go down here? Yes, we can, sort of. Yeah, we'll just walk over here. Yeah, th there's one example. I'd say the controls don't feel slippery, but the door mechanic controls are horrible. <laughs> They're just terrible. Anything? Nothing? Okay. Uh, sure, give me more medicine. Give me more medicine. Ah, sold out. So do we just have to like keep going until we like actually, hold on. There was a third door there. I was gonna say, do we just have to keep going until we actually like get into that like secret door? Up there? Yeah, because I don't want to return. No, screw that. 
Okay, so we have to dig deep, guys, and figure out how to like get around that. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god. You can, like hit us like a thousand times. All right. These things do like so little damage to us when we actually do get hurt. It's kind of weird. Can we stab this guy through this? No. So there's just a cyclops trapped underwater in a box forever. Like. I feel like there's a metaphor in there, you know, like it's sort of like symbolic of all of us. You know, we're all just cyclopses trying to get out of a box that's underwater. Okay, so, yeah, got the key. Um, boomerang, let's try that. Yeah. Ah, you bastard, you little... Stupid whale bastard. Oh my god. This is so annoying. Oh, we killed him! Yes! Alright. Whoops. Equip the key. And... Now you can go... <laughs> How come I tried to go in like a thousand times when the stupid like uh, little whale thing was around and it never worked. But it worked this time. Doesn't make any sense. All right, now we have a big old maze to explore. So, okay. Well, we went down the first pit, basically. Let's see what we got down here. My, my only hope is that because this is like an old retro game, is that they couldn't, they couldn't make these mazes too complex because it would be, there wasn't like enough memory in the game. So my only hope is that these, these mazes are actually pretty easy to figure out. I guess we'll see. Uh, we do have, like, three extra lives, basically, though. Which is a good thing. Um, oh, I was gonna say, as long as we get hearts. Oh, hearts and, like, a ton of tornadoes and another extra life. What? You can only carry three as a max. That's BS, man. We should be able to carry, like, nine or... Or ten. Like, why give you two digits when three is a max? I guess maybe later in the game you can carry more, but... I mean, I don't like that one bit. I want to carry. I want to carry twelve now. Give me twelve extra. Oh, you bastards! Those stupid little floaty whale fish things, whatever the hell they are, green or red, I hate them. I hate you. Get out of here. We have a ton of tornadoes. Oh god, he landed on me. You jerk. Let me stab you in the butt till you're dead. All right. So we have a ton of tornadoes. We have like ten of them. Five. Well, whatever. Close. Pretty good. We will use these on the boss. Mark my words. All right. There's stupid blue fish up there. Oh god. Oh god. Are you kidding me? <laughs> he had like a predictable pattern until I turned around to fight him, and then he was like, "Sake!" And we got him anyway. Stinking stupid floater fish things. These guys need a name. I would call them suckfish because they suck. Ow. Um, okay, go. 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 Huh, this is interesting. So I have a shield so I can block one direction. Interesting. So you have to, like, choose do you want to be above or below. Oh, God! Oh, but he didn't kill me. I'm so close. So close I can taste death. It tastes scary. It tastes terrifying, actually. I don't know if anyone's ever been close to death out there, but it is not cool. Oh god, it's the ghost of the Cyclopses who died underwater! They've come for us, man. Because we didn't help them. We, we had the power to, but we just turned our back on them. It's not cool. Oh! That one gave me life, though. I will take it, man. Oh, that one did too! Full health! That's the best when you're like so close to dying and you get a full, uh, full like regen. Saves you an extra life. All right, so three, three extra lives, full health, a ton of tornadoes. We have the power of wind. Captain Planet has chosen us to uh, portray wind. I think we got this. Ow. If the freaking wizard witch pumpkin dudes don't kill us. Oh, God. They actually respawn really fast, those, like, pumpkin things. Like, whatever the hell these things are. He's like, like, look, he respawned again. I killed him, and while he was still dropping his item, he respawned. That is hardcore. That is like a creature who has learned to evade death itself, man. 
I don't want to know what kind of unholy bargain that thing has made in order to never die. But it's it's unnatural, I'll tell you. But he's dropping lots of money. Ow! What the? I was stabbing you, man. You're not allowed to hurt me. That's not how this works. Did no one explain the rules of this game to you? It's called No One Can Kill Me. Oh god, the skeletons are coming back too. Skeletons drop nothing, so we have no interest in killing them. They're just a waste of our time. Oh, that guy has two hits, eh? Oh, and he drops a stone. Oh god, out. Okay. What next? Oh, interesting. Man, this is actually like a pretty long, sophisticated tunnel system that they've got worked out here. Oh god, you... Damn it! Oh god, I'm almost dead again? Damn. Okay, those guys do a ton of damage. Am I even hurting him? Jeez. Okay, so we lost a life there. I think. Oh, God. <laughs> We're almost going to lose another life. This is no bueno. Oh, God. Okay, now we'll go up here. Oh, God, and I'm dead. Damn it. I had, like, all those extra lives. I feel like I've just wasted them. Oh, look at this. What the? We're just, like, walking down the middle of the level. It's fascinating. It's like, it, it feels like a secret, but it's, like, just clearly the way you're supposed to go in the level. It's not a secret at all. I like to feel special, though, so I'm going to say it's a secret. It's, it's a secret to me. All right, go. Get on the wall. And clink. Boink. Boink. There we go. Clink. 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 <laughs> Blocking those things is kind of fun. It does feel like raiding a tomb. It does feel a little Indiana Jones-ish. Oh, you dick. Okay, so those guys... Man, the green... The green Cyclopses, man. They do hardcore damage. They are not joking around. Oh my god, get away. Get away from me, man. Get away. Oh god, oh god. We're all gonna die down here, aren't we? I'm gonna become the ghost of a Cyclops. Whatever the hell, whatever the hell these things are. I think I need better armor is the thing. When you're playing a game like this and you, you basically die from one hit from a bad guy, you need better armor. Alright. What do we got going on? I also wish I had more hearts. To be honest with you. Oh god! Took a hit stupidly. Oh god. Okay. Nobody needs to be a hero. Nobody needs to die here. We're so close. I, I have a feeling before we get to the boss, we're going to get the option to cure ourselves. If we cannot take another hit. Because that's what happened last time, right? They gave us the option to cure ourselves. Oh, God. Just don't take another hit. That's the secret, damn it! <laughs> you! Of course it was the blue whale fish thing that got me. Oh my god. Alright, well the skeleton would have killed me anyway. Get off of me, dude! Are you serious? Jesus. Well, you know what? I feel a little better. Because if it, if it had really just been like that one thing that would have killed us, that really sucks. But it's like if a bunch of things would have killed us, then whatever. We, we never would have made it. Okay, blink, blink. Okay, let's time this right. Blink, blink. All right. Oh. Blink. All right. We Well, we made it. We made it to the top. You know what? Whether we win or lose the boss. Oh, God. Um, oops. Oh, I can't even select a special item here. Oh, this is a bad... Oh, and I only did three, three damage to him. Oh, my God. And I'm dead. <laughs> I should have selected the tornadoes. So that, that's the thing in this game. When you get to the bosses, when you press start, you can't actually select items. So you have to, like, select items ahead of time. Oh, we had, like, a billion tornadoes we could have unleashed on him. And we just we just ate it, man. We've never got that bonus potion there. Uh, what? Oh, we can't climb up over there. I was going to say, what's over here? Can't do it. Well, let's check our password just for, uh, you know, uh, I don't know. History's sake. 
Um, I think that's actually where we're going to call it. I mean, we could go back in and try and fight our way back through the maze, but I think I definitely need to, like, uh, upgrade my character here. Um, I did not... I was I was taking way too much damage from those uh, green cyclopses. I'm certain that um, I need to grind stuff out a bit. You know, I mean, I could go back to the desert. There was the whole right side of the desert that I really didn't fully explore. There was the Sphinx that I didn't finish exploring. You know, like, there's a lot of places I could go in this game. Um, and I think, you know, for kind of an old-school platformer RPG thing, like, it does kind of remind me of, like, Legend of Zelda, where it's like there's all these worlds to explore and stuff. It also feels a little less cryptic than Zelda, because I myself, as a kid, uh, definitely did have a hard time knowing where to go in, like, Zelda-ish games. But this, it feels like it's non-linear, but it feels like there's a few clear paths of where to go. Like, you don't have access to the whole world right from the get-go. Um, I mean, not that you do in Zelda necessarily, but, you know, um, there's only, like, a couple places you can go. And so, in this game, oh god, oh god, you pretty much just have to sort of check out the few places that you can, find a boss, kill him, get upgraded, and so on and so forth. So, you know, as far as, like, old, like, sort of retro action-adventure games go, like, I, I would have played this as a kid. I definitely think I would have played this as a kid. Um, even though I mock the book for saying, like, you know, why would they put a game in the book that they call a slog? I do think that this game, you know, is going to appeal to, um, a certain kind of old school gamer. I don't think that, uh, everyone's going to want to go back and play this, but I honestly didn't find it a slog at all. It was, uh... You know, like, it, it, it had some challenge to it. You couldn't just mess around. If you got to a boss unprepared, you'd die and you have to do the level again. But, like, the levels didn't seem overly long or overly complex. Uh, maybe I'm too early in the game to, for it to feel like a slog. But, um, yeah, I thought this was a very interesting game. I would have played this back in the day. Um, but those are my thoughts. What do you guys think of Wonder Boy 3 here, The Dragon's Trap? Is it a game that you yourself had back in the day? Is it a game that you would have played if you had had it? Um, I'm especially curious if anyone played this on the TurboGrafx-16 under its title... Um, what was the title again? I'm probably going to die looking at my notes here, but... Um, the game was called on the TurboGrafx-16 Dragon's Curse. So did you know this game is Dragon's Curse? I would be curious if you did. Um, let's get that money... Oh, we never went up over here. Oh, there you can't go over there. I, I wish it was, like, clearly blocked off. So, Oh, my God, there's a secret. We just found a secret. I was going to say, it's kind of stupid they let you come up here when there's no reason to come up. But, hey, there's a reason, baby. We found it. Secrets. Secrets in old video games were totally awesome. I think that's one thing that made Mario so addictive when it came out is that it had secrets, you know. And same with Zelda. Like, secrets are cool. Kids get addicted to finding secrets. And so, hey, man, like, uh, yeah, I, I, I like a lot of what this game is doing. So, yeah, if you played this on any of the other systems, if you're from Brazil and you've played the Brazil version and you want to fill us in on who the characters are in the game specifically, because I didn't really know... Um, but please, please feel free to share your thoughts on this game in the comments down below. Um, and yeah, as always, guys, whatever you think of the game, hopefully, uh, today was interesting and entertaining and, uh, I made it fun. Hopefully you enjoyed checking it out with me. If you did, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, all that jazz. We are, of course, in our fifth year of this thousand, oh god, fifth year of this thousand one games is played before you die quest. Uh, we have a lot of fun stuff coming up, so, uh, I hope you will continue to join us. Uh, in the, the weeks, months, and uh, years to come. Anyway, until next time, my friends, you all take care of yourselves. I'm just going to be enjoying some Sega Master System, and uh, we will see you soon. Alrighty, folks. Peace. Bye, Mythless Shielder. Get the hell out.